MJ, and I'll be your director for the evening. Woo! <laughs> I know I said this at least one point during the audition that I think I mentioned on my Facebook page. I very really want your interpretations of the character, not my interpretation of the character, and not the movie. And that's going to be hard. How many times have you guys seen the movie? Like 50 times. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So what I won't be giving you, at least for the first month or so, I won't give you any notes as far as character development because I want you to develop the character. The only time I will ever step in is if I feel like we're missing something or we're not communicating something to the audience that we need to via with expression or with body language or whatever. Um, will you tell us if you like something? Absolutely. If we're going in a direction that's positive? Yes, absolutely. I, I'm not going to let it be like September 1st. I'm like, you know, okay, I really don't like <laughs> this. If you could start over. Uh, no, if obviously I won't let you guide yourself into the wrong direction and become a habit. I like the I like the little description when they're moving from room to room. The quick scenes of room to room. So everybody's like, if you've seen any of these on, on YouTube before, they're dancing, the lights are changing, and the, and the things are moving in the background. And Cliff has done a great job of like, we, I had some ideas about moving things, and he's come up with an idea that they used on My Fair Lady. We, yeah, sort of. Tom Schindler and I are going to make a set that's going to move. This is the front door. It will only have one step up. But this, the only thing that's locked in place, everything else moves. So when we need to make a room, these will roll out. Or we can turn them to make another scene. Or we can move them apart and move doors there, which will roll. So Tom and I are already starting on this. Our goal is that as soon as Shakespeare finishes the next day, we will come in and put this together for you. I just want you to know that everything up here is going to roll. We're going to make as much of the furniture roll as possible so we can get it on and get it off real easy because we have this nice, nice stage that things roll across real easy. I'm kind of thinking that we don't need to turn the lights down when we move these things around, that we actually let the audience watch us move them around. They're probably going to get a kick out of it, especially when we move these doors out and turn them sideways or whatever, and they see it's just a door. But to you, it's going to be a door in a wall. Um, a lot of that is, you know, the cost of lumber is, um, you know, a, you, have to, you have to leave a child now when you go to Lumber's <laughs> as collateral and that kind of stuff. So we, and the stage also is undergoing some repairs, for those of you who know or may not know. So we're trying to make things as easy to move around and as quick to change as we can. So other than that, anybody have any questions before we get started? Are we doing 1954? Yes, we have to. It's in the script. It was an excellent year. Yes. Mike and I were both born. That's <laughs> right. It's a very fine year. So we're experts having been set that time. <laughs> so you remember all of that? Of all of you know, the sword, the red scare, all of that. I see the pictures. I remember it all. Yeah. How long is your arm? I mean, wait, yeah. maybe long. Uh, a couple of chairs which don't have to be on wheels. Yeah. The dining room table will put on wheels. Yeah. Because that's actually okay. two tables. Yeah, two that we're All right, then. Yeah. Then when we get through, we see two couches there. So you do have those two tiny waist. Yeah. You do. You have a tiny waist for your height. There's like a little table or something. I'm very odd. Tiny, tiny, tiny. My tailor told me I'm a weird shaped body. I love that. Uh, not to worry, yeah, Colonel. I, it's pop. 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 Oh, pop. Not to worry, Colonel. It's just the maid in the hall with the champagne cork. Oh. Champagne? Oh, I will lie. I, 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 I don't mind if I do. This way, Monsieur. This way. This way. Why, thank you. This way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> He's going to the lounge, right? To the lounge. The lounge is over there. This way. Ah, oh, not to worry, Colonel. It's just the maid in the hallway with the champagne cork. Oh. Champagne? Ah, don't mind if I do. Follow me, Monsieur. Well, thank you. <coughs> We've never met. Let's try that again. That has to be sort of a cat fight, almost ready to happen. You know, it's got to be real. It's got to be all body language. Mrs. White, uh, may I introduce you to the maid in bed? Oh, oh, I see you do know each other. We've never met. Champagne, I think not. Basically, what I'm going to do, step back for just a second, ah, sorry, is I'm going to hop here. So you're going to have to make it look like you're. I know, I tried to tell you it was the other way. He says, well, you were right, you were wrong. What? You said you're going to go this way, but you went that way. Have a little evening, officer. Oh, I knew what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> when you do that, though, keep a hold of him the whole time so you lift him up. Like you've just strong armed him in the air and then sat him down like a little doll. It's even better. Yeah, so yeah, like turn me in that 90 degree circle. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
It's going to be hot in there. All those people are going to be laughing and blowing hot air back at you. Be quiet backstage. Turn your cell phones off or to silent. Gentlemen, check your zippers. <laughs> when we leave here, check all of your costumes and props. I'll say it again. Check all of your costumes and props. Make sure everything is exactly where you need it to be. And as always, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. And for those who remember the 70s, Nanu Nanu. Great night, everybody. You have 19 minutes to curtain. All right, Jay, we are just about to get started on opening night of the show here. Uh, we're sorry that you couldn't be here with us. We want to thank you for assembling this team and for getting us to the place that we are to be able to do what we're doing here. We love you. We miss you. Guys. Get well soon, Jay! With some stage trickery. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, who wrote this? <laughs> we are busy figuring out stage trickery. <laughs> 